Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to another update. I'm gonna keep this one short. I was on vacation for the past few weeks and so I didn't have time to do much on the project. With the time that I did have, I decided to do some more trivial tasks that I had been putting off. Stuff like restoring filth gate in the tutorials. This was the demo that we had made previously back last year. Um, and now that I've started working on it again, I broke a lot of stuff with reworks that I had been doing to fit the procedural generation and stuff like that. And so I went ahead and just do more brainless activities and I just put everything in the place that it should be and fixed some more trivial bugs. And so now Fieldgate and its tutorials are all playable again from start to finish, with its, which is great because it's, it's a good introduction to the game and it adds a lot of valuable gameplay. After that, I decided to uh, tweak some things, especially regarding AI. I only did some setup work for what it's about to come because I want the AI to be somewhat completely reworked. I have a few ideas that I want to improve on. Um, and so I did that. Now AI only chases you if they if you've done something bad to begin with if you're just walking around the AI is not going to chase you um, but if you try to steal something if they ca catch you like lock picking, lock picking something then they will come after you for some reason this is working finding the editor but it's not working on the build i've never seen that happening it's like two completely different behaviors i'm assuming something has been cached uh and i'm loading that cache and i don't remember doing that but I have to look into that um, and then with the procedural generation I've just been trying to make things more interesting so just like I mentioned things are lock pickable now so now to enter the building you either need to steal a key from one of, uh, one of the guards or you lock pick your way through or if you don't have a lock pick then you need to find some alternative way to go in and once you go in there are now there is now more loot um, and just more things to explore. You can now access the other floors and stuff like that. Um, and it's just an overall uh, good improvement, I believe. Once again, a lot of more brainless uh, stuff. Just placing things here and there. Not a lot of coding involved. Um, for the next update, I want to finish the main building and add some variation to it. Um, fix a lot of bugs. Filthgate Although it ha it's playable now, but it's, uh, there's still a lot of bugs following the rework, so I wanted to fix all the field cake bugs. Um, fix the weird build behaviors that have been happening for some reason. I want to populate the safe house, it's too empty right now. And then um, make the safe house UI look a bit prettier, and then I am done. So I'm predicting that the next week is gonna be the last scrap till week, and then it's back to the other prototypes, and then hopefully I manage to get a prototype up and running before the convention start next month. Um, so yeah, I think that is all I have for you this week. Um, I'm gonna shut up now and let the gameplay speak for itself on the screen. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe and give me your comments and tell me what you think and all that. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.